Do I look good? Do I look cute? Am I looking slay? <laughs> A couple things are new. In today's video, we're gonna have like one of those little girly talk. That does not mean that men can't watch this video. I just mean like girly talk, like we're sitting down, we got the vibes, like it's just a girly talk, but anybody can watch the video. But yeah, if you can't tell, I am sick. Yes, I blow my nose with a toilet paper roll. Don't at me. Y'all cannot say that y'all have never done that before. Who just keeps tissue in their house for when they're sick? Like nobody, at least I don't. So I blow my nose with toilet paper. A couple things are new. Like as you can tell, my environment is like a little different. Don't y'all just love this background? Like it's so cute. Cute. it's giving girly vibes. Why do I just keep saying girly vibes? Like, I mean it is. But anyways, in today's video, oh, I was finna, s <laughs> I'm getting distracted. I was finna tell y'all like a few things update. I've been sick for a minute, so that's why I've been like off my game with uploads. Life has been a mess lately. It's always something new. I got sick again because of Kevin. Also that has been keeping me from the gym. So like today was my first day back into the gym. I'll go more into that later. <laughs> we're filming in here today because the background is too cute not to get use out of it. This is where I normally do my gaming and like streaming stuff. But in today's video, we are going to be discussing my fitness journey because your girl, she been on that grind. Like I've been on it for about a year now, I think. I don't even know. But I feel like when you're like a fat girly, the gym is kind of forced on you in a young age or at least exercise. And I've been like off and on with that for years. Truly dedication. I think it's been about a year. I wrote down some notes for this video because I just knew I I was gonna be all over the place if I didn't write it down. And I bought this cute little journal from TJ Maxx. And I was like, you know what? This new year, I'm gonna be organized. Hopefully it follows me out of January, but we'll see. So I kind of wrote down, not necessarily the dates, but like the timeline. So I started going to the gym about three years ago. Me and my husband were going together and we would be very inconsistent. We would go for three days out of the week and then we would take a week off. Then we would go super consistently. We even used to go at nighttime sometimes. Like we would go five days in a row. I was eating my tuna, my healthy foods, which was literally terrible. I never want to get back into the routine that I was in back in the day. I literally had no life because I dedicated everything to fitness, diet, exercise. Let's not even go into that. That's a whole different story. But a little over a year ago, probably like November-ish 2022, or maybe a little bit before that, I started taking going to the gym serious. I started being more consistent. I was like, I'm going to be a gym girly because I care about my health. Four, I feel like I I was doing it because of my looks. I did not care about my health. Like I was cardio, cardio, cardio. Mm, those were not the days. But over a year ago, I was like, you know what? I'm going to the gym. I'm going to get my health back. We're going to focus on consistency, not weight loss. Another thing that kept me from not going to the gym as often was gym anxiety. I think my gym anxiety definitely improved. I was just so scared that I was going to look stupid and not know what I was doing. I literally refused to step away from like the assisted machines that tell you exactly what to do. And even even then I was scared that I was doing something wrong. And the main way that I've learned to like overcome my gym anxiety is going into the gym with a plan. I also have a gym buddy, so that kind of helps me out too. So if you have anyone that is kind of scared to go to the gym alone, maybe y'all can partner up, you know, help each other. But like the main thing, even going to the gym by myself, that improved my whole gym experience is going into the gym knowing what I'm doing and having like a set. First, I'm gonna do cardio, then I'm gonna do this. Now, when it came to the do this after cardio, I was completely lost like I didn't know what to do I was looking at videos but nothing felt like it really worked for me until I found Copilot. Copilot is an app that I've been using for about a year now and yes they are the sponsor of this video even without Copilot sponsoring my video I use it at least three times a week like I don't even know if I can refer to it as an app anymore like it's just so much more to me like you genuinely build like a personal relationship with your trainer I know I say this like every single video but like Copilot has literally changed my entire life like it's the only reason why I'm consistent at the gym. I'm just being honest. Like I would have got bored doing cardio every single day, not knowing what to do and having a personal trainer that listens to your needs and listens to like what you want and your goals. And then they tell you what to do to reach those goals. Like that has literally, like I said, changed my entire life. The way that I view fitness. I used to view fitness as just like something that had to be done, but not something that was enjoyable. My coach Olivia on Copilot has really changed that for me. Like I said in the past, like my main goal, was always, oh my God, I need to lose the most weight possible. But since I've started with Copilot, I've actually been doing strength training, lifting weights, and I've really been focusing on like gaining muscle. In turn, I've been feeling a lot stronger. I've just been overall more happy with the way that I view my body, the way that I work out. I mean, obviously everybody has those days when they wake up and they're like, oh, 
I don't want to go to the gym. That was every day before when I was forcing myself to do 20 minutes of cardio every day and that's all I really did and I left and I didn't do any strength training. Now, I prefer to do like five to 10 minutes of cardio. Um, cardio just ain't my thing anymore. And then I like to do some like kind of hit workouts with weights, get my heart pumping, be super fast paced with it. But I don't know, that makes it more enjoyable. And you know, if I get tired of that, I just text my coach and I'm just like, mm, I don't I don't know if I'm feeling this anymore. And she does the adjustments that I need. Another important thing that is needed is rest. And like I said, I've been off of the gym for about a week now. And normally I feel like with a personal trainer, like they would be disappointed in me. But Olivia has been nothing but encouraging. Sometimes I don't even remember to text back, but she does not make me feel bad about that at all. She's like a friend to me now. And if there's a day that I don't feel like doing my co-pilot workout, you know what? She can see in the app, like instead I chose to go for a walk today. And she can still be like, well, I'm so glad that you got that walk in. You can definitely try out new things if you want. It's just like, she truly wants what's best for me. Now, I kind of want to talk a little bit about my workout schedule, the schedule that works for me. Now, Tuesday through Thursday, the reason why I start on Tuesday is because my husband is off work on Mondays and he doesn't really like going to the gym, even though I try to get him into it. That's the reason why I start kind of the second day of the week. But on Tuesdays, I go to the gym. I always try to start the week with going to the gym. That really does set my mood for the rest of the week. It makes me get more stuff done around the house with my job, YouTube videos, things like that. And I have my workout set to be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then Friday and Saturday, I may go to the gym or I may just decide to go for a walk because I like to have options. But if there's like, say it's a Wednesday and the weather looks really nice that day, then I'll just push my co-pilot down one day. So I'll move my gym workout to Thursday and Friday and I'll go for a walk in the middle of the week. Then I can just pick back up, go into the gym the next day. I am somebody who has to have options or I will feel like stuck in a box. So some days I like to have the option to go to the gym while other days I want to go for a walk or maybe I want to do a home workout. Say I'm like, mm, I do not want to leave my house today, but I still want to work out. I'll just text my coach and I'll be like, can you put in an at home workout? And then she does that for me. I also, the reason I'm on my phone, I'm not being rude. I promise. The reason I'm on my phone, you guys ask some questions because I asked you guys on my community tab. Also, if you ever curious about anything going on, sometimes I will post it in my community tab on YouTube. YouTube, so make sure y'all check that if there's any type of like q and I'm doing <coughs> Excuse me. Just go to my community tab. You can ask me questions. Usually I go with like the top questions that have like the most likes. So if there's a question you were also curious about, make sure you leave a like under that comment so it can be boosted to the top. Now here's some of the top questions that you guys had for me regarding my fitness journey. This person says, so proud of all the work you've done to inspire yourself and others. Thank you so much. What is something you do in your fitness journey that has made the biggest impact? I think the thing that has made the biggest impact is like I said, just changing my entire mindset regarding fitness and be gentle with yourself. Start off slow. Like if you go to the gym and you see people doing like heavy weights or even um, what's that? You know, like the little dumbbell barbell thing and you want to try that, but you're too nervous. Maybe just start with like a lightweight. You know, you can do 10 pounds. Do what you feel comfortable with and be easy on yourself. I think whenever I started being kinder to myself, telling myself like it's okay to take a day off. It's okay to not do 20 minutes of cardio before I work out if I don't want to. It's okay to miss a workout today and go for a walk or even just miss a workout today. Even though it sounds crazy when you're so hard on yourself, I feel like it really does stunt your growth. I think that's the biggest thing that has made like the biggest impact. Also focusing on growing muscle. Like I said, when I was focusing on cardio, I just, I hated my life. Hey girl, what are your tips for overcoming gym anxiety and does it gradually go away or do you still get it from time to time? That is a great question. And I feel like a lot of people were wondering about gym anxiety. That's the main reason why a lot of people tell me that they don't even go to the gym. I think the top tip is probably realizing that in your brain, you were the main character of your own story. So you're gonna be continuously worrying about how you look, continuously wondering if someone is judging you. And in their head, they're probably looking in the mirror thinking, damn, I look good, look at these muscles. Or they're looking in the mirror thinking, like, why can I not have muscles like this other person? You know, if someone is thinking about you, they're probably like, I wish I could be brave like that person and go over there and lift weights while I'm on the cardio machine. Most of the time, no one is judging you. And if they are, then they're just assholes. And also another thing that helps you overcome gym anxiety is really, really, really loud headphones. Block out all of the negative thoughts. <laughs> and the answer to your question, yes, I do get it still to this day, especially when the gym is super packed. Luckily, I thought going into this new year that the gym would be like extra, extra packed because 
as you know, January, everyone's starting new goals. But when I go to the gym and it's completely empty, you don't know the sigh of relief I do. You don't know how happy I am. Still to this day, I get gym anxiety and I'm like, oh my God, is this person looking at me? Also, after you leave the gym, you don't have any contact with these people. Like, yes, you may see them every other day at the gym. More than likely, they're not gonna talk to you. They're not gonna say anything to you. So I'm just going about my day. Like I'm doing my workout. I'm making myself feel good. So are they, and I'm never gonna see them again. I mean, obviously you're gonna see them at the gym, but I'll probably never see them outside of the gym. Was there a catalyst? Do I know that word? I don't know. If I mispronounce that word, please don't judge me. I am just a girl. That started your weight loss journey. You know, something that made you think, I want to be healthier. Also, thank you for sharing yourself with the world. I see hate comments you get, and I think it may be difficult at times, but I promise you do way more good. For example, you really helped me with my anxiety. So again, thank you. Oh, I appreciate that so much. And I'm so glad I can help you with your anxiety. I myself do have anxiety as well. And I feel like having a platform and having people that are loving and supportive like you has really help me step out of my anxiety. There was never really a thing that made me want to start a weight loss journey other than just growing up fat. Everyone who grows up fat, they work continuously to lose weight. And it seems like people don't realize that, that leave hate. They think because we're fat, we know nothing about weight loss, fitness or diets. When in reality, we've been doing this stuff since we were a little kid and not a lot of it paid off. The only thing that it's given us is like eating disorders and trauma. I wouldn't say like one thing made me start a weight loss journey because I've been doing that since I was younger. But I would say something that made me realize that I want to get healthier and be more consistent with my goals is just the way that I was feeling before. I used to work full time, you know, on my lunch break, I would get fast food. And then I just keep saying like, oh, I'm going to go to the gym this day. I'm going to go to the gym that day. And I just push it off. And I got tired of being tired and eating the way that I was and not going to the gym. I was not happy with myself because I kept drastically gaining weight. I wouldn't say like, like I wasn't happy with myself because I'm fat because I'm always gonna be fat. Like I just grew up fat. I think I'm always gonna be considered fat to, you know, some people, but I just was so depressed. And like I said, I was in a cycle that I felt like I couldn't get out of. What motivated me wasn't like, oh, I wanna lose weight for, you know, society to think I look good. I think it was more so, I just didn't like the way that I felt sometimes. I just wanted to be more productive. And you know, like today's day and age, you see all those videos and you know, a lot of them aren't very realistic, but you see like the girl that wakes up early in the morning, goes to the gym. I just feel like their life, they may be happier. You know, they may have more time in their day. And I really strive to at least try to be like that. And then whenever I did it, I was like, dang, like, yeah, I do feel a lot better. I guess that kind of did tell me like, I want to get healthier to feel good in my life. And although I have lost some weight, I feel like that wasn't really weight loss related. I wasn't as focused on the weight loss journey. I was just focused on a wellness journey and feeling most comfortable with myself, having a healthier lifestyle. What is your favorite? favorite and least favorite piece of workout equipment. I think my favorite is probably also my least favorite, which is the stairs. <laughs> no, literally. I will get on the stairs every other day for cardio and my friend's like, good luck on that. I like it because it gets my heart pumping and it's very difficult and I kind of like the challenge. But then at the same time, I'm like, why do I put myself through this? Why do I do this? Actually, I changed my mind. I don't want to do this. But like, I feel so good after I do it. I feel like that's kind of like a cop out answer, but I think that's my favorite and least favorite. But if I had to say another one that I think is like, my least favorite now is probably the like assisted weighted things like the assisted arm pull-ups like where you have to sit down and you know you it tells you what to do personally now I love the free weights I love using dumbbells and kind of doing my own movements and working on my form rather than just like sitting down and doing something that it kind of just like tells you what to do and it doesn't make me break a sweat as much the way I stay motivated is because when I take days off I really start to notice my mental health declining like I I really just don't feel the best me. Like today I woke up and I went to the gym and it gave me enough motivation to like film this video and get some cleaning done. The past few days I've just been staying inside and my house has really reflected that. So has the way that I've been feeling. What gave you motivation to keep going on days where you are not feeling it? And what is something that you do to get in the groove of fitness when you are burnt out? That is a great question as well because I tell my coach a lot. I'm like, mm, I don't know if I'm feeling these workouts. I'm kind of burnt out. And then we try to 
work together to come up with a plan of something that is kind of new but isn't too far out of my comfort zone. Like for example, there was a time where we were like, okay, let's try some machine work. And that's when I realized I didn't really care for machines. So I was like, mm, I don't know, I'm not really feeling this. And she just changes up my workouts. And you know, when I'm feeling really, really burnt out, I just go for a walk. Like I, I might take the week off and I'll just go for walks that week and maybe even in different locations. And I feel like I can never get burnt out of a walk. I don't know, you're out in nature, you're looking at the grass and you have on some good music, at least I do. And that's something I can never get burnt out of. Maybe even try some at home workouts or some workout classes, things like that. But then eventually it always leads me back to going to the gym. How is your gym anxiety now versus when you started? What do you think the biggest difference is? When I first went to the gym, my gym anxiety was all the way up here. Like I literally refused to step near the weights. I was terrified. Even when nobody was over there, I was just like, I'm gonna look so dumb. I'm not doing it. Versus now, sometimes I'm like, mm, is this person judging me? Like I might think that in my head, but I still go about doing what I do. If there's like a lot of men over there in the weight section, I, some days I'm like, mm, I'm not dealing with that section today. I'm gonna be honest. There will be groups of guys in that area that we usually are in. And I'm like, mm -mm, not doing that today. Not doing, I'm sorry. When it's just like only a few people in the gym, it's not as bad. And I think the biggest difference is cause I know what I'm doing when I go to the gym. Like I, I stick to more of a routine. I go in with a plan. Before I didn't know what I was doing and say I'm like trying to look up something and I would just get so confused. I'm like, oh, I don't know what to do. So I just leave. And I wouldn't even do like strength training or whatever I had planned for that day because I didn't really have a plan. Hey Sierra, how did you pick the right fitness regimen? Exercises and gym equipment. Also, have you ever walked backwards on a treadmill? I have never walked backwards on a treadmill and I am afraid if I ever do that, I will fall. Like I know for a fact I will fall. So no, I, I have never walked backwards on a treadmill and I never plan to. Also, picking the right gym regimen that worked for me. Like I said, I have a coach. She does that for me. The way we came up with the workouts that I do, so she kind of like started me on some easier workouts. She asked me, how do you like this workout? And within the Copilot app, you can rate your workout. So if something was like too hard for me, I rate it like three, four stars. And then she's like, okay, what can we switch up in this that will fit for you? I'm like, oh, maybe less of this. This exercise didn't feel very comfortable for me or more arm workouts, this or that. And I feel like working together, we found a fitness routine that really worked for me. Y'all, my nose is so freaking itchy right now. But yeah, I don't think I would have been able to do it without Copilot. I really think you guys should check out Copilot. Like I said, they're the sponsor of today's video, but it has made such a huge change in my life that I will literally recommend Copilot to every single person who asks me anything about fitness. So if you guys are interested, which I'm telling you, you should definitely give it a try if you're struggling with trying to find the right workouts or just knowing what you're doing in the gym. You guys can click the link in my description box and get a 14 day free trial. And then if you guys love Copilot as much as me, you can get 20% off your first month of personalized fitness if you sign up before February 1st. And I'm telling y'all, it is so worth it. I love Copilot. I did want to talk a little bit about some like New Year's resolutions. It's 2024. I know some people are like, New Year's resolutions are kind of toxic. I don't like how people start the new year and they're like, New Year, new me. And then they set up this like unattainable routine and then they do it and then they can't stick with it. Like, I don't know. I feel like in a way that can be toxic. And I used to be in that same mindset. Like I would start the year and I would go super hard on myself and then I would just give up and be the same old me for the rest of the year. I do think it's still good to make goals for yourself, not just cause it's necessarily a new year, but I'm always making goals for myself. So let me tell you a little bit about some of the goals that I have for this new year or just for myself that are also kind of regarding fitness and health since this is a fitness and health related video. Number one, continue working out for fun. I feel like sometimes when it comes to working out, it's easy to lose sight of like, you're doing this for fun. Like, yes, you're doing it to be a healthier, better you, but like you need to have fun with it. When I do start to get burnout, like I wanna try new things. I wanna try fun things. Like maybe once a week, I need to do like a workout class. That would be super fun. But also my anxiety usually says no to things like that. But like, I wanna push myself to try new things and maybe try out a workout class. I used to bike a lot. Like I used to ride my bike on a trail a lot and like I kind of miss that. So maybe go biking sometime. I don't know how I'm gonna do that because the area that I live in, I can't really bike in. There's no trails and I don't know how I'm gonna transport. I mean, my car's kind of big, but like, I don't know where am I gonna store these bikes? I need to look into that. That would be a really fun workout. It's something that's so fun that you don't even think of it as a workout. Also, I used to love skating. I'd love to try that again. Dancing, Um, I don't have much rhythm, but dancing
dancing could be fun, like a Zumba. Isn't Zumba dance? I think Aisha was wanting to take a Zumba class. I don't know about that. I would love to try it. I would like to do like a dark Zumba class because I don't want anybody to see how much I lack rhythm. I just can't. Also, another good one. There's a community center we like usually walk out and it also has a pool, an indoor pool. People like do the little swimming workouts. That would be really fun too. I don't know if I want to do like the swimming class because usually it's like older people and it's not like very intense. I'm gonna want to play mermaids. Another thing that is regarding health, I want to continue trying to eat foods that make me feel good. I'm not like a diet girly. I used to be and dieting in my opinion is kind of toxic sometimes restricting yourself but lately I have been trying to eat less gluten just because I noticed it really does mess with me when I eat it like not weight gain wise it literally makes me feel like crap so no I haven't completely cut out gluten I'll still have like a little bit or sometimes a lot of it I have noticed that gluten makes me not feel that good bread pasta things like that and that's why when I went to Olive Garden I felt so sick and I feel so full so early and now I realize like the reason why which is another thing that I haven't opened up to you guys fully about I went to the doctor they tested my blood my previous doctor told me that I had PCOS but he never really fully ran like a blood test he just knew that I'd never had my cycle my period for like a very long time so he was like yeah I think you do have PCOS that can be I guess helped with weight loss with medication I did get my period back but I decided to go to another doctor because I started getting curious I'm like okay if I have PCOS what if I have insulin resistance when I eat certain foods I literally just feel like crap and I was like maybe I have insulin resistance because I was doing some research so I went to a new gynecologist I literally feel like I'm finna itch my nose off oh my gosh <laughs> anyways this doctor ran my blood I was like I want to confirm that I have PCOS I also want to see if I have insulin resistance and my blood test came back and she told me that I don't have PCOS she said it's definitely possible that I had PCOS and I did lose some weight so maybe that was reversed with some of the weight loss that I had but she said I do have insulin resistance. I didn't know that PCOS could be reversed. I don't know. Maybe y'all know a little bit more on the subject than me. I don't think she was wrong. I mean, she's a doctor, but also you never know with doctors. She did say my blood definitely showed that I have insulin resistance. And I was like, oh my God, like, what do you do for this? Basically, you know, you can get rid of it with weight loss, but also it makes it like 10 times harder to lose weight. And I'm just like, okay, well, that's great. So <laughs> going into this new year, I want to eat foods that don't make me feel like shit and figure out what all insulin resistance entails. I just need to look more into the subject because every time I see videos, the people have PCOS insulin resistance, but she told me I don't have PCOS at least anymore, but I do have insulin resistance. So I'm just like, I don't, I don't know. And that also goes into my next goal a little bit, but continue learning about myself, my health, my body, and my physical and mental health. I need to start back seeing a therapist. The therapist that I was seeing just wasn't really working for me. Maybe I need to start back with that continue going to the doctor, figure out what doctor works for me. I still don't even have a primary care doctor. Yeah, kind of embarrassing. I'm 23 years old and I don't have a primary care doctor, but where the heck do you find one at? Every time you call a primary care doctor, they're like, we're not accepting new patients. Like, what do you mean? What do you mean? And then you actually see one and they treat you like crap. They literally just say some off the wall type and you're like, you're supposed to be a medical professional. What's what's going on? That one experience that I had, me and Kevin had, literally traumatized us. We don't know what to do now. I've tried other doctors, but not like primary care because I'm just like, where do I find one? I don't know. Like, I'm also scared. They're just going to be a-holes to me. Like, this girl literally told me she wasn't going to test me for PCOS because I don't have it. Like, that's basically what happened. Like, this was like three years ago or two years ago. I don't even know. I made a video about it where I talked about it a little bit in my life update. I can't remember the exact things that she said, but I just knew it was very traumatizing for me and I'm still not past it. This video is getting so long and I need to like wrap it up because I think I've been filming for 45 minutes. Obviously I'm gonna cut the video some. That's a long time for me to be talking to my camera but I had to have like a little girly rant but my last goal is to try new things with my YouTube and obviously you guys have seen that. I'm gonna post a thrift haul soon. I think by the time this video goes live that video should already be live so if you haven't seen that go watch it or maybe it'll go live after this video. Actually I'm not really sure. I'm gonna post a thrift haul or I already posted a thrift haul. I don't know. And guys don't forget to click that copilot link in my description to get a 14 day free trial and 20% off your first month of personalized fitness if you sign up before February 1st. If you guys have any more questions about my fitness journey and I guess just like questions in general about life or anything like that that's not too too invasive because sometimes people be asking some crazy questions I'll be like why do you think I'm gonna answer that? If you guys like these girly chats just uh, let me know down in the comments I can do more of them because obviously I love to talk I'm just a talker that's just me that's just who I am isn't that like 
like a Disney Channel thing from back in the, okay, anyways, I am getting off subject. I hope this video helped if you're trying to start a fitness journey. I'm just speaking on my experience. Everyone's experience is different and everyone goes through different phases of life. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore, but thank y'all so much for watching. I love you guys, bye. And stay on that consistent grind, like be the best you you can be, bye.